Welcome to another episode of Miss Top News. Today we have a special actress with us that's here to talk about her life outside of the set. Please welcome Yolinda Allen. Thank you so much for having me, Linda. I am so pleased to be on the show today. You're very welcome. So tell us, what have you been working on lately? I just finished filming a new movie called Stop Talking. It's about a wife and mother with a terribly huge secret. The cast and crew were all sweethearts. I already miss them quite a lot. Aw, uh, it's always hard to leave your co-stars. At least you get to see your family some more now, right? Yes, indeed. That's always a pleasure. Speaking of your family, how are the Allens doing? Okay, hey, Tabby, Mama's just asked about her family. I promise you, she won't even mention me. She'll only mention her perfect husband and perfect model daughter. I'll even bet a 10 on it. We are all doing well. If you haven't already heard, my husband, Peter, has just published another novel recently, and my daughter, Karina, has just landed the role as the face of Dior. I'm extremely proud of both of them. See? It's like I don't even exist. I'm not famous in any way, except because of them. So I'm not even worth mentioning. You owe me $10. Your family has always seemed like the perfect American family. Speaking of which, we'll now be joined by the rest of your family. Please welcome authors Peter Allen and the model Karina Allen. I don't exist at all. I just hate this life, Tabitha. Everyone sucks up to me to get close to them. Both classmates and me. I don't even know who's really there for me, just like myself. I just need at least one normal thing to happen to me. Just one normal person that I can rely on. Actually, I think I saw something in the paper this morning that might help me make my life a little bit easier to live with. I might as well put all our extra room in our house to use, right? Let's go all the way tonight. No regrets, just love. We can dance until we die. You and I will be young forever. You make me feel like I'm living a teenage dream. The way you turn me on. Your attention, please. This is the final call for LT. Make sure that you call me every single night. I'll be waiting for your emails, letters, everything. I want you to write me about everything you did each day. I'll miss you so much, son. I hope that you know that I love you more than anything in this world. I know, Mom. I love you and will miss you a lot, too. Please take care of yourself. I will if you do, too. Please don't let your temperate family replace me, though. It was nice of them to rent an extra room to you for the year so that you could be coached in California. But you still have a poor old mother that loves you to death, home in Rhode Island. Mom, no one will replace you, I promise. But I have to get on my flight if I want to get to California at all. Bye. Bye, dear. Have a safe flight. You're telling me I thought you guys gonna live next door to me? Oh, bye! The minute he arrives, we're bringing him over to my house so we can meet. Well, he'll be here in a few hours, so if you're still here, there'll be no need for that. I can't say that. Mom's making us have some kind of wine tasting dinner for a brand new wine the company just came out with. 
the top heaven parents who own a well known vineyard. But anyways, give me the information on this new guy. Well, his name is Shane Grayson, he's from Rhode Island, and we need to room in LA, which coincidentally we live there. So we can be coached by an ex NFL football coach so we can try to get a football scholarship to college. He's going to live here for a year and go to our school and everything. He must be dead on serious about football or something. <laughs> Even better! Athletes are totally hot. God, Tabby? I have a feeling that I'll have to hide him from you soon, stalk him or something. Please don't freak him out. There's nothing worse than a creepy neighbor. I'll be good. I promise. For the first week at least. <laughs> so don't go high. Rosie, our guest is here. Hello Shane, I'm Peter Allen. I am Yolinda Allen. Trina Allen. And I'm Rosetta. I'm the one that's talking to her. So, this is our family. And this is our home and it's completely open to you. Thank you very much for letting me stay here. I am extremely lucky to find a nice family to live with like you. Really, it's our pleasure. This will be a great experience for all of us. Rosie will show you to your room. Well, here's your room, right next to mine. It's just plain right now, but maybe tomorrow we'll decorate it. If you're up to it, of course. Yeah, that sounds great. This is a wonderful room. At home, I live in a three-room apartment with my young and single mother and have one room for both my mom and my bedrooms and the family room. I've never had my own room before. Well, this is all yours. You won't have to share a room with anyone nor use it as a family room any longer. You don't understand how much I appreciate your kindness. You saved me from my usual routine of hoping for a life like yours. Of course, I love my mom and I have an okay life back home, but it's hard for me to see my mom working so hard to feed both of us. It was about time that I gave her a break and worked on getting to college. You saved me too. You do know that my family is sort of kind of famous. Yeah, I admire every one of you. Like everyone else. Well, obviously, I'm not like that. I'm not a famous author, actress, model, or anything. Just a 17-year-old girl. It's tough being that kind of person, though. In the media, I'm just an accessory. At school, I'm just used to get to my family. And everywhere, I will never be able to live up to the successful career that I've had. I'm just an outcast. You saved me from the loneliness I've been feeling. I just need someone else, my stranger to come in. Well, I'll make sure to help you then. I know how it feels to be out of the crowd, and I really don't wish it upon anyone. Let's stick together, okay? Two opposite worlds combining to create an equal one. I like that idea. I can already tell that we'll be great friends. Come on, let's go get some food. What the media doesn't know is that the Allens are amazing chefs. You'll love it here. Stuck on you, oh oh oh, stuck like glue. You and me, baby, we're stuck like glue. Oh oh oh, stuck like glue. You and me, baby, we're stuck like glue.